There's three weeks till the midterms. Who are the most dangerous Republicans, constipated Democrats, and surprising standouts on the ballot? I'm scared, I'm not scared. You're scared. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. So sometimes it feels easy to lump all the polls together as trash. So as we hit the home stretch, I wanted to separate out the most batshit crazy, the worst campaigns, and the diamonds in the rough to help you navigate the most important races. Okay, deep breath, deep breath. So let's map out the midterm madness, shuffle up, and dive right into the action. And go! We land in Georgia, where we find Mr. Preposterous, Herschel Walker. I just, if this man becomes a senator, we are officially in idiocracy. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of America! At the debate last week, dude waved around an honorary badge because he thinks it makes him a real cop. I'm a cop and you will respect my authority! Guy's so dumb that he thinks if you get the key to the city, you can use it to actually unlock the door. Plus, he lied about paying for his girlfriend's abortion while wanting to ban abortion for everyone else, no exception. He has multiple secret children he doesn't parent despite lecturing about deadbeat dads. His own MAGA meme lord kid is even done with him. Family values, people. He has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. Everything has been a lie. I'm done. Let them fight. Next round. And go. We've landed on a three for one, the denialists. In Arizona, there's Kerry Lake running for governor and Mark Fincham for secretary of state. In Pennsylvania, it's Doug Mastriano running for governor and he can appoint his own secretary of state. Now you hear a lot about all the GOP election deniers. These are people who refuse to accept the results of the 2020 election. They're stop the steal supporters and conspiracy theorists. But these three stand out as the most dangerous. Lake is so committed to the big lie, even Trump thinks she's extra. I talked to President Trump, he goes, I love it. No matter what I ask you, you always bring it right back to the election. How are the kids doing? Well, you know, Leo just graduated Graduated, but I'm worried about him because our elections are rotten and dirty and filthy and we don't have a country. Where's the proof? Fincham was a member of the Oath Keepers and posted Nazi shit on... <laughs> Pinterest? Pinterest is usually for sharing photos of dogs, fashion, food maybe. He used it where he compared Obama to Nazi Germany. <laughs> Mastriano went to the insurrection and was honored with a special sword at a conference for QAnon freaks. Quick question, why do you have a giant sword? Why don't you? If in 2024, the election comes down to Arizona or Pennsylvania, which is totally possible since they're key swing states, then these freaks could lead us to a civil war level constitutional crisis if they live up to their promise to never certify a democratic victory. These are the three most important elections in the country. Such a worrier. What could possibly go wrong? Now let's spin again. And go! Another depressing threesome. The most constipated Dem campaigns. Ready for this? No Democrat in America is running a worse or more blocked up campaign than Katie Hobbs, candidate for governor in Arizona. Bro, come on! She's refused to debate Carrie Lake. Columnists say she has a deer in the headlights look. She can't answer simple questions about things like her abortion position. And yet, our democracy is kind of relying on this person to win. Katie Hobbs's team officially declining to debate Republican Carrie Lake. Are you scared? Shut up. In Georgia and Texas, former Democratic stars have struggled to get a real move. Go. Once again, Stacey Abrams and Beto got swept up at the National Celebrity, but it hasn't landed with the locals. Well, that's depressing. Last round. Let's hope for something better. Jackpot. A lightning round of hot toddies. Let's roll through them. Josh Shapiro in Pennsylvania and Wes Moore in Maryland are impressive Democrats running for governor against crazy insurrectionists. I love Will Rollins, a gay, former Republican staffer running for Congress against a corrupt Republican in Palm Springs. Sounds familiar. Abigail Spanberger, an awesome moderate Democrat running for House in Richmond, Virginia, ran this ad with her former GOP counterpart. This is not a typical political ad. I'm a Republican congressman saying nice things about a Democrat. Democrat. Abigail Spanberger. And in my home state of Colorado, two sleeper picks. Both of these races are long shots, but it's not impossible if they'll win. Adam Fresh is just a normal dude running for Congress against Looney Tunes' Lauren Boebert in Colorado 3. She's the worst. And Joe O'Day, a Republican who actually showed some balls in his race for Senate. You know you're doing something right as a Republican when Trump sends a truth about you that looks like that. Are you still banned from Twitter? Yeah, baby. That's all we got. Midterms are three weeks away. Make a plan to vote. We'll see you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button.